The journey for a Burmese woman and her son has come full circle. Their home in Burma was destroyed, but now it's been replaced right here in the Mohawk Valley. News Channel 2's Gary Libertor has their story in this season of giving. So here's a family. The woman is alone. She's a widow. And her son, he's a special needs child, and he, has, he was born actually with a bad liver, so he struggled with his health his whole life. On this Sunday morning at Redeemer Church in North Utica, one family may just be a little bit more grateful than the others. And it, it's, it's like a Christmas miracle all coming together for them right here at the holidays. You may recall in August, we showed you how volunteers from Redeemer Church were beginning to renovate 1406 Miller Street in Utica. All right, here we are at our first house, 1406 Miller Street, and I'm here with some of the, the contractors that are gonna volunteer their time. And uh, we just wanna take everybody on a walk through and kinda show you the whole uh, process of how this house is going to be transformed. As you can see, this is going to be a big project. It's going to be a lot of work, but when it's done, it's going to be beautiful. Well, this is the family that was selected to receive the gift of this newly renovated home. Ma Yi and her son, Win Kin. Every single Burmese or Karen family that you talk to in Utica, if you begin to ask them about their life and their families and what they've experienced, I have not talked to one person that has not experienced atrocities that, that we just, it's so foreign to our experience. We can hardly even understand what their life is like. ตะยะมาတော့บ่มาสิตาเลยฮะจมายอกจาโกกะยิ่งอะดิเอเฉยมาจมายอกจาโกบ่มาสิตาเลยฮะช่างหมอมีတော့ใช้ตะเขยบา